Wow. Yeah, well now we know how hot that is. It is a freezing but beautiful day in February. I am, I am here with our retort that we used a little while ago to try to make a batch of charcoal using the indirect method. You stuff the thing full of wood, you seal it off airtight, and then you light a whacking great bonfire underneath. However, we ended up, it ended up not working very well. You can see here on this piece of wood that it has partially charred ever so slightly, but not really very much. We're not exactly sure what went on because we lit a pretty hot bonfire underneath. We're thinking maybe insulating with cinder blocks would have been better. You can even see on the nails there's just a little bit of a glint from the tar that condensed around it, which is kind of cool. But as cool as that is, we are still left without charcoal. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, why won't it light? Like that's that's horrifying. Okay, it looks like it started. But it's kind of fun to see all the water drip off as the fire starts going on the inside. That's amazing. Wow. Okay, so what we're just trying to do is we're trying to get a substantial fire. Wow, can you hear that? The water's starting to boil. Wow, okay, that's cool. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get a substantial enough fire in the middle that it will generate a lot of heat and pyrolyze all the wood and then once the fire's going pretty well, then we will pack in the rest of the wood, choke off all the oxygen by putting the lid on, and then leave it for a couple hours. Wow. Yeah, well now we know how hot that is. Wow. You better be careful. <laughs> That's pretty cool, the little current there. All that smoke coming off is the, the gases, vaporized tar probably, and everything else leaving the wood. So that's a sign that pyrolysis is already happening in the very back. 